All right, so there's not much left. Today we're gonna beat the uh, the GT World Championship. We're gonna get that done right away, and then after this, I'll show you funny, and then I have to leave. Unfortunately, <laughs> I don't have I don't have that much time for stream today, so this is gonna this is gonna have to be a quick one. Okay, so we're getting to the GT one. I should have enough money to repaint it. I think I'll I think I'll repaint it. Because I don't, I don't like the stealth color, if I'm being perfectly honest. We should have enough money for this and the upgrades. Actually, I should probably do the upgrades first. Um, let me open the Bible. And I don't mean the actual Bible. I mean... <laughs> Kanji's tuning guide. Um, which I like to call the Bible because it's... It's insanely long. It's, it's basically like a Bible. Um, is this it? Yes, dude. Yeah, okay. There we go. So we're looking for the... Uh, Toyota. Toyota. GT1 race car, there we go. Alright, there we go. Let me make sure that I get everything. I have to ignore chat for a second, I'm sorry. Uh, I think we already did the oil change. I'm just gonna do it again. Because we did use the car a little bit. But should have just been fine. Uh, where's the... There we go. Toyota Turbo Stage 3? That's actually it. I mean, there's probably not much more you can buy. And hard racing tires. I think the car came equipped with mediums. I'm not sure if you want to buy super hards for the GT World Championship, though. I think I'm going to buy them just in case, and then I could swap them around if necessary. Uh, no, we don't want to equip them, though. Okay. Enough for the fun part. Car settings. Oh, you actually want to, you actually want to combine them. You want to have mediums in the front. That's interesting. That usually is not good enough. <laughs> that usually uh, leads to a lot of tire wear, but maybe the tuning makes it so that the tire wear is pretty, pretty decent. Okay, first things first. Um, brake controller. Six, two. Uh, transmission. What's the transmission? There. Wait, no. I don't want transmission, suspension. Spring, we actually want to lower that. We want to put that way down. Okay, that's interesting. 5.2 and 5.4. Right height. Okay, we're maxing that, I guess. Wasn't there a way to. Whatever. Actually, not entirely. 95 in the rear. Interesting. I am the front. Bounce. Two and two. Rebounds to five. Camber. We're actually lowering that. We're upping it. So we'll stay at zero. Stabilizes them in the rear. Okay. Then for the transmission, we do the funny again. Max out the final. And set auto to one. Wasn't it the way to do this in bigger steps? You press the button. Oh well. Damn it. 2.600, okay. And then the individual ones. This one to minimum. This one also to minimum. We're actually just one down. Three hundred and ten is what we're looking for, there we go. Oh this will make sense actually. 
Yeah, these were maxing. Okay, there we go. That's the gears done. Downforce tuning. Can I actually say is this? Yeah, it's already maxed out. LSD. Initial torque actually putting to 60. Okay, I think we're maxing this out. Uh, that's why we're putting to 55, okay. Okay, we're adding 10 kilos to... Where? Front, I guess? Or rear? Actually, I think we're putting 10 kilos to the rear. Okay. What we're at it, driving eights. Oh, this is actually at seven. No, we don't need that. One should be fine. Okay, that's the tuning. This car actually only weighs 910 kilos. That's actually not much. Dude, over th we have more horsepower than we have kilos. Okay, this is actually really important. Uh, Shouts to T Kanji's uh, tuning bible. Tuning bible is probably what I should call it. Um, makes these cars way better. Like, the amount of performance we actually got out of the Formula GT in the 100% marathon with this is insane. Okay. So, if we're ignoring you guys, now I can see you again. Hello. Hello, 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 hello. Okay, let's get into it. Uh, we don't have much time, or I don't have much time for stream today, so I'm gonna have to kind of speedrun it today. I'm just gonna lock in. Oh, wait. I wanted to change the paint. <laughs> we should still have uh, we should still have money for that. Okay, let's at least do that. Make use of all the features. All right, let's lock in. The finale, last championship. Then we are done. Let's see what this car does with the tuning now. I've, I've driven it without it. It was already pretty good. But now, now we should be, you know, we should be looking pretty good. Um, that is actually a horrible lineup. Do I want to reroll until we get a bad lineup? Or like a good lineup for us, I mean. I, I honestly, let's just try it. Let's just try it as this. Also, let's change play this for something more exciting. Alright, let's go. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Locking in. Let's see how we do. Oh, dude, the 787 Beast Souls is ridiculous. Kinda glad I didn't get it. Oh, I didn't buy nitrous. Should I have bought nitrous? Yeah, why not? Exit once again. <laughs> let's buy nitrous. Doesn't hurt. Wasn't in the shopping list, so I didn't really think about it. Um, I'm not gonna actually uh, max it out though, because the races are gonna be pretty long, so... I'd actually rather have a little more length on the on the nitrous. Okay, now we're ready. Alright, is this lineup better or worse? I didn't check. I just went in. I think I saw in C9, so that's gonna be... Very spicy. Yeah, there it is. Alright, fine. Give me, give me some challenge. I'm excited to see if the tires will hold, honestly. Oh, we definitely seem to be much faster. Despite the thousand horsepower and our tires in the rear, this actually feels really stable. So that's good. Now, now I just hope that the tires actually hold and last. I think if I remember correctly, this is the shortest race, so for this one I sh think they should be fine. At the very least. But balance calm. They also applied Kanji's tuning. Yeah, honestly, like, in terms of performance, we're definitely outperforming the others. It's just a matter of whether or not the tires will actually hold. Shit. I don't think I did a full refresh. 
Yeah, I'm doing that. <laughs> We're exiting once again. We're throwing for the second time. <laughs> alright, alright. I hope that doesn't mess with the tuning. Actually, if anything, it makes the tuning better. For restoration. Yes. I think I'm, I'm still a little concerned about tires. Okay, now we're locked in. So well, this is our this is our setup. And what I'll take the C9 in here. Okay. Now we are good to go. Up the full refresh didn't reset the tuning, but I don't think it did. This is just as good as before. Definitely gonna have to get used to this car and these these speeds here. It's gonna it's gonna take me a while, I think. Alright, we're gonna have to wrap this up quick. I have to end the stream at 7 p.m. That's my that's my deadline. It's now half past four, I think. We got two and a half hours. Should be doable if I skip skip races. Okay, the car can actually do a certain amount of speeds. Now I wonder how it will do on the south. Was this championship? The final one. World championship. Well, the final one for this challenge run, at least. I mean, I guess we could theoretically uh, keep the challenge going a little bit. I think this is where I would probably call it for YouTube. Or we could stream the rest and then I'll just upload it to the bot channel. But also want to see where where this could go next. Could maybe see if we can beat all the national events and um, the remainder of the extreme events. Minus the Formula GT. We could do it and we could beat it and Formula GT does pop up in the used car dealer, but I ain't doing that again. I'm sorry. <laughs> I think in general it's a little more interesting um, doing different challenges past this point. I still have to uh, finish the um, Google Translated guide. That's something I will probably continue tomorrow, if I stream tomorrow. Which I can't promise either. Okay, to be honest, even if the tires don't last, I think we're so fast that we can easily afford a, t a pit stop within 4 to 5 laps. I thought she was close to being cut from the mud because it just sucks ass. And the thing is, I mean, I get the idea is to just have like realistic Formula 1 races in there in terms of length and have that be as like half a season like I get the idea it's just like for a PlayStation 2 game maybe a little bit much the problem the main problem is you can't really pause or like continue I think it would have better been better as a non-championship I think then it might have been better but then you don't have the point system which once again would be a little bit more authentic 
It honestly would have been better, would be, be best if they had made it so that you can just do other races while you're in the championship. Then I don't think this would have been a problem. Like, I get the idea and the intent, but yeah. Because, like, in the F1 games, the races are basically the same, right? But then you can actually, like, adjust the length of the race. Like, you can do full length races like they are in real life. Or 50% or 10% or just 3 laps or whatever. But in those, you know, like, in between races. There's a little bit of downtime where you can adjust the car or do other stuff. Or just take a break, you know. So it does work a little better in those in those games. Here, not so much because you can't really do anything between races and... Yeah, you're kind of locked in. Okay, I can already tell... That we're gonna have to adjust our pit strategies with this car. Usually on this race I go for no stops. But that won't really work. Like, we're basically trading speed for tire life. And I hope that trade off works out. Honestly. Yeah, it's a 20 second gap, but I think 20 seconds is not actually enough for the pit stop. That's what we're using. We're using mediums in the front and hearts in the rear. Mediums in the front seems definitely fine. I don't want to put super hards in the rear because then then the grip difference is way too huge. I've tried this before, like mediums in the front, super hards in the rear. It does not work. It it just doesn't work. Okay, it's definitely gonna be interesting. All right, this this car shreds tires with the tuning. Okay, I think I'm brave enough to do one more lap. Okay, that's gonna make the later races very interesting. Because I'm gonna have to approach this completely differently now. Okay, 28 seconds, that should be enough. At the end of this lap, we should have enough of a gap to afford a pit stop. That should be fine. The thing is, the first race in the GT World Championship is always a little easier. Than the rest, so this is a little bit... Doesn't really tell us much. Just yet. Yeah, we definitely don't need to refuel. Races are not long enough that we need to refuel. My tire life is... Like, I never shredded my tires this hard. On this event. They are definitely getting cooked. Okay, I guess we got a box. Have I ever entered the pit lane from this side? I don't think so. Uh, wait, did I have mediums in the rear? Am I stupid? <laughs> wait, did I set up the car correctly? Alright, come on, out, out, out. Actually, one thing that would interest me, are the pit stops always consistent? Like, do they always take the same amount of time, or is there some random factor as to how fast they are? Yep, and that's where we're getting past. Damn, okay. Alright. Got full laps to pass them. Especially the thing is, I don't think they, they actually um, pit here. Or at least some of them won't. Did it reset the tuning? I don't think it reset the tuning.
Like, I don't think the full re restore resets the tuning. Let me make a check. You can always tune the car in between, it's fine. She also ran out of Nitro's Numb. I think this race is always a bad indicator of how the rest is gonna go. Like, Tokyo always plays out a little completely differently. Which is why I usually go for no stops here. Maybe that could have worked with hard and super hot in the real. Hard to say. Definitely gonna try to stick it to this compound for the rest of the event. Okay. I think I did manage to catch up again. Definitely an exciting GT World Championship. <laughs> that should definitely make things a little more interesting. If I need to pit more, but I also have the speed to balance it out, then I need to actually make the most out of the speed that car has. I actually drive well, dude. There's like four car, uh, five cars here. <laughs> what in the world? Okay, now we just need to keep it. Keep the lead for two laps. Alright, C9 is gonna be a pain in the ass, I can already tell. That's looking fine. And I kind of got stuck in traffic. That definitely did help a little bit. <laughs> oh, the scene had actually pitted. Okay, that's actually really good because that means... <clears throat> But it'll have less points in the overall championship. And I do see that one being uh, most competitive. I must have actually made a full video on, on uh, racing game cameras. It's a little bit older, but it's, it's still on my channel. It was like an essay type video. Probably gonna find it pretty interesting. I did talk to um, the developer, or one of the de developers who made Out of Rally. I think there was some good, good insight in there. I see that definitely a uh, certified Ferrari strategy, pitting on the last lap. <laughs> I mean, maybe they're going for the fastest lap, but it doesn't give you a point here. I think they done cooked it. Alright, first race GG, but um, yeah, I don't know, don't think we're fully uh, safe yet. Definitely gonna be interesting to see where this goes, I actually w was flat broke, 
I didn't even notice that. The, I, w I was just barely able to afford the full restore. <laughs> I was actually flat broke. Wait, Trial Mountain? Oh, okay, the events have been changed. Usually, I think this is where the oval would be. The second race. I actually have Trial Mountain. Okay, that, that does make things a lot more interesting, though. New total link thing? Oh, I didn't see it. Okay. In that case, let's see how this goes then. I definitely prefer this over the oval. Like gameplay wise, but honestly, the oval would have made things a little easier for us, I think. Because this car definitely has. A ton of, like, acceleration at higher speeds and top speed. Like, I, I was about to say that would have been a, an easy win. Try and mount this is now a little bit interesting. We got to change the default compound, damn it. I wanted to check the settings again. Okay, it's fine. I mean, we can cut a little bit here. We can definitely use that to our advantage. If need be. And I don't know if I ever did this many laps on Tram Mountain in a car like this. It definitely feels fairly new to me. Like to me this is such an early to mid game track. Reason that these are weird. I mean, fair points. Because I'm not sure if that track gets that much use then. Yeah, I used the steering wheel in GT4 before. Works surprisingly well. As long as you don't do the races. <laughs> They're weird. Okay, I think we're doing a million times better here than on Tokyo. Which is good. I think the C9 wasn't even in first. Has it been nerfed? Nerf allegations are crazy. Yeah, it's definitely a lot of fun, I will say. It's definitely a lot more fun than the oval. But, like, this track is actually surprisingly fun with fast cars like this one. Okay, so we at least have to make it to lap 6 with the tires, otherwise we're cooked. Because then I have to pit twice. I'm not sure if that's gonna happen.
Let's hope they stay yellow for a little longer. We were three, uh, 33 seconds ahead. There's just barely enough that we might not actually get past now if we get into the pits. So that's good. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna try one more lap. Should be okay. That worked fun. But now I definitely should pit, I think. Getting slightly orange there. On the rear right. Oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> Okay, into the pits. Once again, I don't think I ever went into the pits here. On Tri Mountain, at least not that I can remember. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's actually pay attention to the tire wear. I think, honestly, we had hearts in the rear when we started. Because I, I would notice the car driving differently if it was mediums. It feels the same as before. Medium rears? Are we sure? Okay. I mean, that's good. Because I really don't feel that much of a difference. I mean, the tail slides a little more. But not to a degree that's bad for me. Okay, now it does feel a little different. Those little slides there. Also, the rears were warmed up really fast in the beginning on the on the race. Now it's more even.
What is Carlton? You can get that one all the time in the US car dealer. It pops up relatively frequently. That was the first. Mm. Oh, C9 pitting. Okay, it might not actually be that dangerous. It should be the fastest car here, but honestly, the tire wear is kind of cooking it. Bentley also pitting. I think that was one of the slower cars. That one shouldn't really be a cause for concern. That Peugeot. And what is it, the 905? That one might be an issue. Oh, was that the C9? We're actually lapping it. Okay, that's actually kind of unbelievable. <laughs> what happened, huh? Okay, that's unreal. I'm lapping one of the fastest cars in the game. Yeeted on the last corner jump can do. Okay, now the Persia is also pitting. I think that one might actually be the most dangerous car here. Okay, I'll give it a proper eat. Can I hit the wall, but we'll take it. We'll take it. Okay, let's see if there's any more surprises, because that, that track was different. And I think Tokyo, we also drove in reverse. Yes, I'll check the tuning settings. 
a game. This one's gonna be a fun one. Hmm. I could have sworn I changed this. Maybe I'm just an idiot. Okay, the rest should still be the same, right? No, that did reset. All of that reset. Why did none of that change? Where's my Bible? Let me. Wait. I need my Bible again. We didn't actually have the settings. What? Huh. That was with the car was untuned, and I still somehow made it. Okay, wait. The car's already this crazy, and that wasn't even. I did the tuning though. Why did the tuning get reset? Oops. Did I load a save state? I don't think I did. Okay, that's funny. Okay, I must I hope the game doesn't crash anymore when you do settings mid-event, because then we're cooked. Because I don't have the time to do all of that again. Okay, doing the tuning again then. No wonder the tire wear was so bad. Why did it re reset? Did I actually not save this? I have to look at the VOD later. To see what happened. I did all of this. It was the first thing I did today. Alright. Good car even without tunes, yeah, for sure. If it's this good even without tune, then... I don't even want to imagine what it's like now. After I'm done with this. Like, oh my god. Could've sworn the car was just tuned. Yeah, I'm, I'm tempted to say this isn't even necessary now. But honestly, considering we have Hong Kong coming up, maybe we do. Stuff was already correct. I think this is just want to mix out except for the last one. Why did that not save? I don't get it. Don't have time for this. Okay, then 10 kilos to the front. Oh, wait, to the rear, never mind. Okay. That saves it, right? I mean, how else are you supposed to exit that menu? It would also explain why I had the hard tires in the rear, despite me putting them actually... To, uh, but mediums in the rear, despite putting them to hard. Okay, now the car is set up. Now the car is set up. Oh god. Now, now we are actually gaming. Alright, now I see you again. Ah. Okay, let's see, let's see how this drives now. With the proper tuning. It's kind of a bad track to test, but we'll take it. Okay, yeah, something changed. Oh my god, yeah, something changed. What the hell is this? Yo, what happened to the gearbox? It's cooked. Car is no top speed now. 
Yeah, I think that tuning didn't work. Why the gear so short? Uh, yeah, that tuning does work. It was actually better stock. Maybe that was the game trying to save me from the tune. That's probably why, for some reason, it didn't really save. Oh, and I already started this. Oh. Okay, you know what? We're skipping this track anyways. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do this race anyways. We're moving on. Can I at least... I could maybe try to influence the... Whatever, we're moving on. What did I miss? Why is the, why is the gearing so bad? This is what I did. Final two, 5,500. Oh, I see what I did wrong. I forgot about this step. Oh my god, this is why I don't want to stream when I don't have time for streaming, technically. I have to do this a third time. Fuck me. This is why I don't want to stream on time limits. This is why I don't do this. This is why I usually just take a day off. Motherfucker. Okay, now we're doing this right. It's fine, I didn't want to do Hong Kong anyways. Hong Kong can fuck off for like care. Okay, yeah, that actually looks more correct. If I look at that graph. Alright, we're done. The car is tuned. My god. <sighs> yeah, I set it to default because I think I had to do the entire thing again. Because otherwise, the, the auto thing exploit doesn't work. Okay, we should be good now. Hopefully. I'm gonna lose my mind. I have... A little less than two hours left. To beat this. Okay, now this is looking... This is looking good. Yeah, the car also has like a million times more grip. All right, we're gaming. But I wanted to skip three events anyways. Might as well be Hong Kong, honestly. Yeah, that is definitely faster. <laughs> Grippium. Let's see if it also has a positive uh, impact on the tire life. That would actually be the cherry on top. A uh, Paris might be another skip. Honestly, I should I should skip all the races that take the longest. If I want to save time, so actually skipping Hong Kong was kind of necessary.
That does surprise me how good the car was without the tuning. If I'm being honest. That's a car you can definitely just drive out of the box. And win this with. Since we do have the tuning bible, I do wanna <laughs> I do wanna make use of it. Because it does help. I might long term cut down the race times. If I add it together. Is the Persia in second again, by the way? I think it might be. Yeah, dude, the Persia is actually nuts. Not sure if I ever had it in this championship. Can't remember. I don't think so. But it seems really, really strong. <laughs> Fast French boy. Any chance of lapping the competition? Honestly, maybe. I'd be possible here. Yeah, tires are definitely looking a lot better than before. Like the, sus the suspension tuning definitely helps. Also, the fact that the rears are now hard. The tire wear is a lot more consistent. This must look insane in first person view. Honestly. We can actually keep going. I think I'll, I'll put next lap.
Ellis? Ellis dead? Ellis dead. Okay. Oh, I could not get into this car, no. For sure. If you're tall, there's no way. Okay, I guess we're, I guess we're coming in. Pressure shouldn't pass us at this point. So we should be good, cheap. Might as well. I don't think anyone has pitted yet. The AI is usually pretty... S yeah, they, they don't pit as often as you need to. I don't know if they just know how to preserve tires or if AI in general just uses less, less tires. Yeah, they pit very late. Usually. Very late in the race. What's the split actually? I still want to know if we can lap everyone. Actually, I think it's possible. I mean, I ran out of nitrous now, but I think we'll need it. I mean, that would be first.
Oh, bro, they're both blocking the road. So C9 leapt again. Very good. Wasn't that usually the fastest car here? Why is it so slow now? Like the pressure is way worse. We got one more lap to lap the entire field. <laughs> nice one, C9. Once again, lapping on the final lap. Uh, once again, pitting on the final lap. Those are the massive threats they don't want to tell you about, you know. Uh, I think we're gonna get it. Ooh, just barely saw a gap for a second there. Nice! That's the entire field left before the end of the race. Easy. Okay, we keep going. I do camp uh, I'll do El Capitan. It's fun. Although this will probably completely kill our tires. This game has soul? It does have soul, yeah. That is actually correct. <laughs> Oh my god, okay. Man, that, look, that did not look right. <laughs> that looked like something for speed shit. <sighs> that weird drift. We're not shaking the field as easily here. I think that's normal in this event. It's still build, build up just fine over time, but yeah.
Yeah, I think there you want to break and then turn, not break and turn at the same time. That's what led to, that's what led to that awkward drift earlier. And do we actually pit? Once I'm looking a little worn. Honestly, I would prefer... Still doing lap 6. So this and the next one. But I think that's pretty ambitious. Okay, whatever, let's try it. I mean, let's see how they look at the end. If they're already turning orange, then I have to, then, then I have to pit. Then I actually have to get in. Yep, should be enough. I'm still ahead after this. Oh, I don't know. They keep going, I don't know. It's ambitious, but I think I can do it. I think I'll do it. If I drive carefully, I think it should be fine. Honestly, I think... Fronts wearing out is less bad than rears wearing out. Fronts wearing out just affects your steering. Rears will make you spin out. If the rears are cooked, you will just keep spinning out. You cannot take a single corner anymore. So I think I'd rather have this than the other way around. Well, the Capitan in the World Championship is always a test of your tires, entire strategy, entire life. I'm 
Nah, I think we'll make it. Okay, good call. Good call to keep going. Where we pit now. Definitely turning orange now. Also, no point to continue. It's the halfway point of the race. Alright. <laughs> that did work pretty well. Whoa, okay. <laughs> Do not cut the grass. And we're still ahead. That is very good. Well ahead, actually. Car behind me is actually um, not the Persia. That must be a left opponent. I didn't even know I lapped anyone. Like that was totally subconscious. I was not really paying attention to it. Is it? Hold on. I actually think the Persia just got a little closer. Been up for much longer though. So got some boost for the straight. The 280 on El Capitan is actually insane. That straight is really not that long. So good. Okay, just a little longer. Seen I'm pitting again. I feel like it's actually the first car that pits. Each race. Well, besides from me, I guess.
but it's almost 6 p.m. I finish this within a little more than an hour. And the chef will still have time for the funny today. I mean, honestly, it should be fine. I should be able to skip two more races. If I win everything. Since the Peugeot is always in first, unfortunately we can't skip four. Like, the point distribution won't allow for it. But it should be okay. So we should still have time for the funny today. You don't know what the funny is? Don't worry, just stick around. <laughs> yes, the funny. Uh oh. Not again into the pits! Oh my god! <sighs> Actually, almost just through. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> Great. Always in control. Oh, now the Persia's pitting. I actually think it's too far ahead. It's still gonna come in second. If I wanna mess with the pit distribution, I have to I have to grief the Persia really hard. I think I should have maybe done that on Soul when I had the chance. I guess I was lapping it, but to be honest, you can't really grief them hard enough. I mean, it did seem to get passed by someone. That might have also been a left driver, so I don't know. Okay, awkward. Whoa! Great to drift. Playing need for speed now. Oh, minute ahead. My god, okay. Good. Good stuff. Race 5, so we're halfway done now. New York. Do I want to skip this one? Actually, we're only, at, we're only 10 points ahead of the Peugeot. That's really bad. Ah, fuck it, I'll do New York. New York shouldn't take long. It's just one lap extra, but the track is actually... Uh, a decent bit shorter. Try to grief the Peugeot a little bit. I don't think it helps. Like you can't really grief drivers on circuit uh, on city tracks. It's kind of pointless. When I skipped Hong Kong, I should have at least made sure the Persia was behind. But to be honest, at that point, I didn't even know it was going to be uh, that much of a problem.
Push it into the pits, I guess. That could work, but it's kind of hard to pull off. But it's pretty much the hardest grief you can pull off in this game. Because that's going to rob an opponent like 30 or 40 seconds. Okay, get this time to the pressure is actually not that good. Not big enough yet for pit stop. I'm right, probably gonna pit six into seven. Could go a little longer, but. I think then we're just kind of wasting time on a more worn tire compound. Oh, thank you, man. Yeah, I heard from a lot of people that apparently my streams are super chill. Like a bunch of people used them to fall asleep, which is really interesting to me because they're like sometimes my streams can get really loud. <laughs> so I, I imagine like there's always like moments where something happens and I, I scream and I just wake like 50 people up <laughs> I just wake up like 50 people <laughs> across like uh, the bot channel and the stream and everything That's nice to hear though. Stop talking, I'm trying to sleep. <laughs> I mean, I think the talking is what helps people sleep, right? Because instead of their mind just racing, they can just listen to someone yap. Until their brain just, just goes like, I'm gonna head out. 
Listen to the no Japanese cars with at least 100 times by now. Nice. But it's also partially why I made the VOD channel. Like, the VOD channel actually gets ridiculous watch time. Like, the average view duration on some of the videos on the VOD channel is an hour. It's probably just people that turn on the video and then let it run until they fall asleep. Pretty nice. My favorite car is always the uh, Nissan 350Z. Don't really have a particular reason, I just like it. I think it looks nice. Yeah, we're coming in. Could go for another lap or two, but... Not strictly necessary. It's the halfway point of the race, might as well. Not like I have to deal with traffic in the pit lane. But now we should be far enough ahead that we don't actually uh, get past. It's stuff in the background while you're at work. Interesting. Like, I, I tried for a while to have some stuff on in the background while I'm editing. And usually it distracted me way too much. Like, I try to have videos on in the background, or even just music, which is too distracting. But I mean, it really depends on the kind of work you're doing. With editing, I kind of have to lock in and concentrate and listen. Maybe if you do something else, it's a different story. <laughs> yeah, what? When I rate someone and the other person's stream is way louder than mine. I imagine that happens a lot with Kuru. Kuru's stream is ear rape, and I don't even mean because of the like music that gets donated, it's just ear rape by default. Like his master volume is like 50% higher than everyone else's. And like, I imagine that happened probably to a few people whenever I rated Kuru. The black Betty face was, was something else, man. I have no idea how much ear rape I had to endure editing for him. Like while I was still, while I was still working for him as an editor, the amount of volume that went through my earphones, like headphones. While trying to work on videos was absurd. Like I should, I should file for hearing loss, work-related hearing loss. <laughs> it was always, but it was always easy to tell. Like, I'm not sure if you've ever had a video in an editing program. But basically, the audio, maybe you've seen this before, the audio gets shown as, like, waveforms, right? So when there's no volume, it's just a straight line. Or, like, nothing. And if someone talks, it's, like, you know, a bunch of waveforms. <clears throat> and usually with his streams that I would download and put into the editing software so I can cut them down, whenever there was e-rape, the waveform would look like this, like just like one big block, right? Like, so you'd have like a little bit of like waveforms here, like all over, 
And then when E-Rape got donated, it looked like this, like just a massive like rectangle on the on the timeline. <laughs> that's, that's why I would always know. Yep, okay. That's that's why someone donated, yep. <laughs> Pretty funny. So I would always like preemptively uh, lower my volume when I saw that the waveform just started freaking out. Because I know exactly what would happen. Ahead of time. Uh, the 70s race in GT6? I don't know. I think we finished International B already. The International B race, so at least we were close to it. It's been a while since I played GT6. Like, I think I probably want to go back to it after this uh, challenge is over. But now we're still doing a bunch of GT4 streams, like I promise daily GT4 streams until the next video is out. And that's why there have been uh, non-strop streams of this challenge since I think last Saturday. Though I can't promise I will stream tomorrow. There's a chance I might for like two hours or so. Yeah, the, the last VOD, or rather, the, the VOD of the last time we played GT6 is on the VOD channel. Like, that so far has been fully archived. Promise daily streams, clickbait. I guess I have a visitor here tomorrow. Um, I don't want to, like, force them to get ignored by me. I'll make that dependent on them. If they're okay with me streaming while they're here. Like, so far I got a half okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask again tomorrow. They like, can watch me do it live, yeah. But once again, pitting. Typical Tinder date, is it okay if I stream this for four hours? <laughs> Always comes across well mannered when you tell them like, hey, uh, I gotta actually work <laughs> for the next four hours. Can I just like leave you be? Well, work, in my case. <laughs> quad on quad. Okay, hold on. Is it quote on quote or quote unquote? Where the, where the English majors in chat? Quote unquote, okay. Quote on quote. See, we already have disagreements in the chat. I've kind of said a mix of both. Like, I, I've, I've always pronounced it kind of like as both O and U, like kind of in the middle. So you could kind of like, it's ambiguous. Quote on quote, you know, is what I said. Usually. <laughs> it's, it's ambiguous. Like, I basically made up a new letter. 
A new vowel. <laughs> okay. Opera Paris? I think I wanna skip. This is 18 laps of cancer. Was this always reverse? Why has this been changed? Okay, I'll, I'll do the following though. I'm gonna grief the Peugeot. Because I have to. It's way too far ahead in terms of points. Wait, no way in hell I'm doing this race. You! You stay with me now! <laughs> Can let the French win on their home turf! Alright? Okay. So we're already- we're still 10 points ahead. So we could some, skip something else. So we can- we have this, then we have Grand Valley. And then La South. I actually like to do La South. Because I just enjoy it and I think it's nice for the finale. So do we do this or do we do Grand Valley? Yeah, I have an hour left. A little less. Which is faster? This or this or Grand Valley? Ugh. I think Grand Valley. It's also just nicer, I think. So we're gonna grief the, uh... The Peugeot again. Shit! I missed. But I think at this point it should be fine. We're 12 points ahead. I know, just to be on the safe side. Yeah. I mean, this car also shows up in the used Cadilla in the vanilla game. This and a bunch of other cars, like LMP cars. We have a 787B in there. And to others. Yep. It was a stealth model, but I repainted it because I like the livery more than just the black color. Uh, the wildest thing in the new used car dealer with this mod is definitely the Formula GT. The fact that the Formula GT pops up in the used car dealer is absolutely wild. Okay, I don't think this was hard enough. Yeah, that actually changed nothing. Dude, I'm not gonna be able to grieve him at this point. Drift down here or, or something. <laughs> this is taking too long. Oh, he's so far away. Might as well just do this race now, honestly. I mean, isn't it pretty short? I think it's once again, I'm, I'm kind of tired. I have to leave in an hour. I, I really actually don't have much time. I think this race is shorter than Grand Valley. I like Grand Valley, I like that race, but... I think I gotta look in on this now, especially since we've already been here for three minutes. Might as well just finish it now.
Problem ist, ich bin mucking around for the entire lap. I give myself a nice handicap. Why is that not a grief? What is wrong with this driver, dude? Like, I hit him so many times. Puff, dude. Honestly. And for the video, we'll come up with a French GT guy, I swear to God. This race is actually going to be very hard. Oh, wow. Because I don't know if they pit you. I already pissed away my nudges as well. We have this cut here. Could help somewhat. Create a gap. I might actually lose this race. Because, uh. I've been driving really fucking badly. Because then I actually have to do Grand Valley as well. I actually lose skipping privileges. And the AI is stupidly fast here. This is why I should skip this one. I'll put this lap and pray that they will also pit, but they probably won't because the race is not long enough. Nah, you, you can, you don't have to pit, but the tires just wear out. You're not gonna make it 
And I'm gonna make the or finish the race with only one type compound. Now we have to come in. Oh, this can be fun. Trying to catch that up. Since the first level was so bad and the rest wasn't that great either. This is actually gonna be fun. Where's the pit lane here? Okay. <laughs> Bought it! Ah, uh, that's bad. This is very bad. And there they go. Okay, actually they're not too far ahead. Problem is I have no more, uh, almost no more nitrous. And also not many laps left to go. <clears throat> so I'm gonna I'm gonna pull up all the put out all the stops. Rather all the cuts. Stream here, it's good. Okay, I think we'll make it. Yeah, okay. As long as I don't make any more major mistakes, we should be fine. Like, this is probably the most bullshit race in the entire championship. Because the AI, for some reason, is way faster here than in all of the other races, and they don't pit. Like, this one is way more unfair than the rest. It would be nice if um, Nitrous would be refilled at pit stops. Might be a little overpowered, honestly. For the very long races, but yeah. Whoa. Ha! I have finally griefed the French. I should get passed by the C9. And I think someone else. That was actually good work. Let's put the Persia further behind in the points. Okay, so now coming in. Unfortunate, but sure. Don't look at chat! Just focus on the fucking race, you idiot!
Okay. As if I'm gonna let myself get beaten by the fucking Bentley. As if. Okay, one more lap. What's the time? Okay, should be fine. We should still have time for the funny. At the end. And it's also pitting, cool. So... Oh no, my the push is also pitting. Okay, so they did pit in the end, okay. So, me pissing my pants over this was actually completely unnecessary. They all pit in the final lap. Fantastic. I'm gonna... Okay, kinda saved it. And this track is actually... Uh, what are you doing here? <laughs> this track is actually uh, incredibly hard on with, with faster cars, honestly. With faster cars, this track becomes really difficult. Because every area here is so punishing because the track goes so wide. With the gravel and grass, so if you actually fly off, it's gonna take you ages to get back to the track. And there's a lot of difficult sections. That with faster cars are absolute hell. Ah. Boys, thank you for the two months of Prime. Appreciate it, welcome back. Okay. So yeah, we're gonna skip... Wait, this is Deep Forest? This is Deep Forest now. This used to be Grand Valley, this is now Deep Forest. Huh. Unfortunately, we won't see it. <laughs> Had I known it was a new track, I would have done this. I mean, I guess that was the initial plan. I wanted to skip... Um, I wanted to skip Suzuka, but then I had to do it. Okay, and... Oh, wow. Okay, this has also changed. So the end is three laps on the Nordschleife. That's gonna take ages. Oh, my God. It's not four laps on... La South anymore, it's this. Oh my god, I don't have the time for this! And mine's done! I shake my fist angrily. Okay. How much do you reckon a lap will take you? We, we also need to lap every... Uh, we, need, we also need to pit every lap, I think. I'm not sure how the opponents will do here. We'll see. This might actually be really hard. Okay, I think... Yeah, I think one of the Shepherds actually holding up the entire field. What a goat. And he might actually hold them up for a little while longer. What a... What a G-O-A-T. Yeah, this is the final race now. Usually it's in the south. Four laps. Now it's three laps on Nordschleife. Had I known this, I would have done Deep Forest. <laughs> God damn it.
There are plenty of changes in this championship here. I think that makes... that It's like four events that were changed, I think. The first one in Tokyo is reverse. The second one has been swapped out for Trial Mountain. Instead of that weird oval. Then Grand Valley, the ninth race, has been swapped out for Deep Forest. I'm not sure why, to be honest. And now this is... Three laps on the Nordschleife instead of four laps on the South. Which takes out a long time. A while longer. And it's also much harder. Yeah, this makes for a more exciting finale though, I will I will agree. I mean the start was also cool to end on. To be honest. But I promise we need to actually pit every lap. And I don't think we're actually losing the opponents far enough to actually afford a pit stop. I mean, maybe at the final straight, this car must have ridiculous amounts of top speed. Yeah, the opponents are really fast here. It's kind of what I uh, that's kind of what I suspected. Like the AI actually does a really good pace on the Nordschleife, as opposed to most of the other tracks we had so far. So yeah, this is actually going to be kind of hard to win. Especially because once again, I don't think any of them will pit. Maybe on the second lap. I mean, the tires look good, but honestly, I don't feel confident in uh, doing a whole new lap with these. I want to actually put every lap. Because the thing is, like, it's quite a while until I actually get to pit again. And on the previous races, I would always pit like eight to nine minutes into the into the race. Yeah, we're not we're not gonna make it. Even if they still look good now, they're not gonna look good halfway into the next lap, and then we'll be uh, done cooked. Yeah, the saving graces at the pit lane here is pretty short. And I hope that we actually make up a lot of time on this straight here. This is where the nitrous will be used. 400? Easy! Oh, this is not good. Okay, saved. Yeah, we have to put. I don't like it, but we have to put a relap. Ah, this is gonna be bad. This is gonna be bad.
This is going to be really bad. Okay, let me go, let me go. Already seven minutes behind this is really not good. Uh, seven seconds, I mean. Minutes would be awful. Basically, have to play catch up every single lap. But they have to pit this lap. If they don't pit this lap, then this is completely cooked. Like, if you have to beat opponents. On this track and nobody is pitting, then honestly, I think we should. Then, then honestly, I think they should just revert it back to Las Half. <laughs> Seriously. So let's hope they will pit, and also let's hope that their performance will drop because they are on severely worn tires here. This is, this is where the Zauber actually shines, the C9. Peugeot fell off. There he is. This is basically Kuru, by the way. You'll get what I mean when you watch the video. The 100% video. That's a reference for the future.
Und jetzt etwas Speeders. Okay. Let's collectively pray together that the opponents pit on this one. If they don't, we're cooked. We are actually cooked if they don't. I'm not sure I can catch that up. Please pit, please pit, please pit. Are they pitting? They're not pitting, are they? Wait, what are they doing? They're stuck. These fuckers are not pitting, dudes. Okay, the C9 pitted. And the Bentley. Wait, who didn't pit? The fucking French, dudes. It's always, it's always the French, man. It's always the fucking French, dude. Oh my god. Dude. Edna Monk, Edna Monk, Edna Monk. Cyber, thank you for the 52 months. Man. It's okay. I think it was far enough away that I can still catch up to him again. French cheater man. How like how do you want to tell me that you can do three laps in an LMP car here without any pit uh, without any pit stops? Come on. Xbox, thank you for eight months. Sending my energy for you to beat the French. Seriously, French GT guy is now the worst character in the Dusty Eden cinematic universe. My God. I can, I can at least deal with this. If the C9 didn't pit, we would be cooked. The C9 and also preferably the Bentley, they, the, both of those needed to pit. But how is this guy still going, man? Hey, what, what, are the, what are those tires made of? Bedrock? Ridiculous. Okay, it seems to be uh, a lot slower though. Use this Tesla cook probably. Maybe he wasn't cheating. Ah, oh, nice. It is indeed that time. The entire cuts out. Daily reset. Ah. <sighs> The French cut the internet. Mm. Uh. Can you please reconnect before the stream cuts out completely? Yeah, okay, we're back. We are back. That was the daily stream reset. It was actually right on time this time. Right on time. Alright, let's just finish this. Ah, Alright, come on. I totally forgot about the stream reset. I should probably put an alarm on my phone so I can <laughs> warn everyone.
Uh oh. Okay. Uh oh, that's not good. Quick 360. Extra points for style, I guess. Like, honestly, at this point, I really needed the tune. Had I done the rest, had I done this without the tune, I would be cooked. Okay, okay, okay. More time, final straight. Send it! Mostly 400 km power again. There we go. The speed! Well, fellas, I think it's safe to say. Uh oh. Okay, maybe it's not, maybe it's not, maybe it's not, it's not, it's not, nothing safe! Sure, 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 yeah. Okay. <laughs> safe to say, I think we did it! With some fails along the way. It's done! It is done, it has been done! Gran Turismo 4 officially beaten with only used cars. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. The spec, to the spec 2 mod makes it possible. It is indeed possible now. Ah! My god, what a race. This is way more demanding. Like, holy crap. The amount of concentration this needed was ridiculous. Alright. Now let's see what price can we get here. Usually, usually you get the um, cover cup from this, the uh, 4GT. Has this been changed as well? I honestly think it was always a good price car, but maybe it's somewhere else now, and we get something else instead. Ah, okay. You know what? That's also a good one. That's also a good one. Tom Supra. Yeah, I'll take it. That's a classic. Well, there you go. It's done. All the pro we even complete all the professional events and beginner events, which we didn't even need to, but because that was a requirement in the original game, I figured we might as well. Uh, and yeah, everything else is just a bonus at that point. It's done. <laughs> After two and a half years, I can finally say I, I did it. Fantastic. This is good, man. Makes this Spec 2 mod the GOAT in my eyes. Okay. I got... 20 more minutes left for the funny. Let's do the funny. I promised the funny, so we'll do the funny. So I'll buy my very first um, new car here. And of course, it is going to be... The Vitz. Uh, wait, what, 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 what vids do I have to buy? What's the, what's the correct vids? <laughs> the RS 1.5, this one? Okay, we need to take it to GT Auto. Okay, we, we do, we're gonna do the funny. 
Because now, a lot of people seem to think that the pink Vitz is in this game. The pink Vitz was never in this game. That was always a Gran Turismo 3 thing. Maybe also Gran Turismo 2. Mainly Gran Turismo 3. Was never in this game, but now, thankfully, with the Spec 2 mod. It's here. See the line, Bart! It's pink. It's not even my line. <laughs> it's not even my line. Okay, shall we shall we juice this up as well? What's on today's special? Do we have anything anything cool? Uh not really. Where the where the uh, the red ones? What what are the best tires we can we can buy here? Oh yeah, actually I sh I did this too early. We have to unpink it again, Chad. I'm sorry. We have to unpink it, but not for long. I forgot. Painting the car pink is actually the key to this. It's the key to the funny. It's actually the key to the funny. So if you don't know what the funny is. Let me explain it to you. So in this game, you can either buy turbo upgrades, right? Or I guess in this case, it can have a supercharger. What the fuck? Uh, or it can have an A tuning. You can't have both. You can never have both. It's either a, a, a turbo or a supercharger, whatever you have available, or the NA tuning. However, due to a slight oversight in this current version of the mod, so this is probably not going to be a thing anymore in the future, unfortunately. You can buy both. And even though you only have one equipped, the moment you paint the car, you repaint the car, both of them get equipped. Except just one of them. Which makes every car stupid fast. And that's what we're going to do. We're going we're gonna to max this vids out. As much as I can. And then we're gonna we're gonna make it good. Then we're gonna make it actually good. Might it become an actual feature to combine upgrades like that? That would be interesting. Okay, there we go. For some reason we have to buy a supercharger for this. Maybe maybe a turbo would be cool, it would be better because then we'd have more speed. Uh but yeah. It is whatever. It's still gonna be fast enough. Probably. I put this one as, on as well. Okay, buy all the other stuff as well. I wanna, wanna get max power out of this. Nitrous because of course. And now we buy the NA tuning. And the moment we do this, it'll ask us if we want to equip it now. If we equip it, which I'm gonna do, it's gonna unequip the supercharger. It still says it has bought, but it's unequipped now. But if we repaint the car, the supercharger gets put in again. <laughs> so we have both. And that those those upgrades are gonna stack. Do not equip the NA. Oh, I have, to, I have to equip the supercharger first. Okay, okay. So the end... Okay, okay. I see, I see. But just to show you again. Supercharger was not equipped. Now I equipped it. Where's the NA tuning? Yeah. Okay. So that's how... We, that's the way we want to do it. All right, and now we're painted pink. Painting it pink is the key to all of this, I told you. It is the key to all of this. There we go. It's now pink, and if we check the settings menu again... Watch your horses. You'll see that it actually has 313 horsepower now. <laughs> because it has the NA tuning equipped. 
and the supercharger equipped. If this one had a stage 3 turbo, this would be even more insane. Like, I've, I've seen people do this with, like, uh, an MR2 or whatever, and they, they become insanely fast. Like, they actually become as fast as regular LMP cars. I wanted to do it with the pink vids because... Brain rot. Um... <laughs> What I think I will do is actually uh, lengthen the suspension. I'm gonna lengthen that a lot. Like, this should be fine. Okay. Uh, where's speed test? There we go. So yeah, this might not be the best example for this glitch. You could get way more performance out of this, but... Pink funny. Pink funny? Pink funny. Whoa, what the fuck is this? Dude, this is a lowrider. <laughs> it's a lowrider! Yeah! Dude, there's an emote for this. It's called Car Jam. <laughs> Dude, that's almost better. Look at it, it's bouncing. It's so happy. Yippee, yippee, yippee. Yippee. <laughs> okay. Let's see how fast this can go. Can this even go fast? It, it just keeps hopping. Oh, it stopped. Okay. Let's try nitrous. Yeah, that's 250. That's, that's, that's good. That's good. That's power. The fastest pink vits anyone has ever built. Man, this reminds me of the car pod randomizer. With a similar brain rod there. Okay, I still have nitrous. I think, honestly, I think this car can reach 300. The first vits to reach 300. Let's go, come on. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> 300 kilometers power on a pink vids, not bad. Not bad at all. We could probably do even more. Uh, I think 318 is the most we're gonna get now though. Yeah. But hey, not bad. Honestly, considering the funny suspension, that is pretty that 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 is pretty good. It's still bouncing. If I try to turn, it's actually bouncing. The fastest pink bits anyone has ever built. Hallelujah. This is the best mod anyone has ever made. <laughs> okay, wait, let's see how fast this can go now. 300. I don't have much nitrous left, unfortunately. Nah, I think we're gonna top out again. Oh, well, maybe... Maybe a little more? A little more? 319? Okay, we got 319. Has to be enough. Dude, what is going on with the suspension? It is so... Jesus Christ. What is this? This isn't even... This isn't even part of the glitch. It just does that. It just does that. <laughs> this makes no sense. That's <laughs> so happy. <laughs> this is like it's like a golden retriever when you come back home after work. <laughs> All right, guys. Unfortunately, that's gonna have to be it. I gotta go in ten minutes. But this was fun. Good challenge. Um, glad we did this. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna continue this uh, particular playthrough with used cars or if we're gonna start a new one. We'll see. Um, yeah. But this was a lot of fun. And I'm glad this was all possible. Honestly. Not even the mod creator knew if this was even possible. So, uh, yeah, I did some valuable science here, I think. Um, but yeah. Thank you all for tuning in. Much appreciated. Uh, usually I show off the trailer to the next video, um, 
I can't do that because then I'll still have to uh, end the stream manually after like eight minutes after it's done. Uh, so I'm just gonna send you over to Duff. I think I still owe, owe him a raid anyways. Um, dude, why is there an ad break now? Bruh. <laughs> why is there an ad break when I start a raid? That's so stupid. Um, he's still doing spec 2 as well. I think he's actually going for a 100% run. I'm not sure if he's doing like any uh, special special challenge or whatever, but he's probably, he's probably done the glitch as well. Maybe he'll do it again if you want to see more of it. Uh, but yeah, thanks for hanging out. Appreciate it. And uh, I'll maybe see you guys again tomorrow. I can't promise that yet. We'll see. Uh, if so, then it's probably going to be for a short stream. And yeah, also, obviously, shout out to the Edmeister for this mod. Shout out to um, T Kanji for his tuning bible. Shout out to uh, you for watching, I guess. Um, so yeah. With that all being said, thank you so much. Until next time, take care, take it easy, and as always, peace. See you guys. Bye-bye.